Good morning to our uh, participants for today's viewpoints, an online meeting for uh, parents and uh, new students of Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School. I am Professor James Ronald Messina. I head the Admissions and Registrar's Office. And uh, kamusta po kayo? Sana po ay uh, safe po tayong lahat. Uh, today is July 8, 2020. And uh, this is what close to uh, our 20th session of viewpoints. This is actually our way of uh, engaging the parents and new students to a meaningful discussion about learning in the new normal and uh, also to uh, catch up with our enrollment procedures. Dahil uh, sa panahon po ngayon that uh, we cannot accommodate the Malayan at Malayan Colleges Laguna for the on-site enrollment kailangan po namin ng uh, way to uh, talk to our uh, uh, students and uh, the new stu uh, the, the parents so that uh, we can uh, discuss relevant issues about uh, online learning. So, ngayon po, we'll be talking about the business programs under the E.T. Yuchenko College of uh, Business. So, uh, this is... Uh, the college that basically uh, administers our uh, uh, business program since 2007. So, uh, sana po ay uh, interested po tayo sa mga business programs natin, which is to date, we have a good number of uh, inquiries already and uh, sign-ups for the E.T. Yuchenko College of Business. So, uh, update lang po sa ating mga participants. At present po, uh, we are doing the enrollment. So, we started this last June 1 pa uh, through online submission of documents and uh, basically online enrollment. But we are expecting at the time that we will be having uh, modified and uh, modified general community quarantine or uh, MGCQ. But unfortunately, hindi po yun nangyari. So, we stick to the online processing of transactions. And uh, hopefully po, nakakahabol po yung ating mga sudyante doon sa ating enrollment procedure. So, medyo mahirap lang din po talaga in the process. But I think this is the new normal po that we have to uh, uh, keep in mind for the next uh, couple of months and maybe years. So, thank you very much po for uh, your interest at Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School. So, uh, our offices po are currently closed, but uh, we are assuring our uh, stakeholders, specifically the parents and the new students, that you can get in touch with us uh, through our helplines, through our number. So, nakapost po sa mga screen ninyo yung contact numbers ng admissions office. If you have enrollment-related concerns, please feel free to contact our admissions team and our enrollment advisors so that you can be guided in the enrollment process. Okay? So, uh, we're talking about business education in the new normal. And uh, I'm very happy to be uh, joined for this forum by my colleagues in the E.T. Uchenko College of Business. So, uh, last First week, or rather uh, last June po, meron na tayong first session about the business programs. And we had the Dean of the ETYCB uh, joining us for the discussion. So ngayon po, nandun pa, nandito pa rin po si Dean. And we have two other colleagues uh, for the discussion. So we have the program chair of accountancy and uh, accounting information system. We have Professor Rizalina Ong. And uh, the program chair of tourism management, Professor Merle Ruiz. Ayan, kumakaway po sila. And uh, they will be joining us in our discussion later. And uh, of course, we have the dean of the E.T. Uchego College of Business, who's also chairing the hospitality management program. We have Professor Rodora, Maria Rodora Austria. Ayan, so virtual club po sa aking mga colleagues in ETYCB and uh, at sila po ang ating mga speakers for this morning. Good morning, Din Roda. Good morning, Sir James. Good morning, everybody. 
Ayan. Kamusta po kayo? Pabuti naman po. Ayan. So, uh, maybe we can start our discussion with the business programs under the EP Uchenko College of Business. So, uh, let's start with uh, Dean uh, Rodda for the discussion. Thank you. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's my pleasure to be a part of Viewpoints uh, this morning. And uh, today, we are uh, tasked to give you an idea no, on the business education in the new normal. So, what can we expect uh, moving forward when we start the new school year? So, uh, I am with the ETU Chenko College of Business. And under the College of Business, we have the following courses. No, this, these are the courses that we offer. So we have the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, the Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management, and our newest baby, which uh, we will uh, launch uh, this school year. We have the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing. Okay, so um, what? Uh, just to give you an idea of what to expect, no, in business education in the new normal. Now, this would be I would be talking uh, in general terms. Uh, well, primarily not only for MCL but for I'm sure the other schools also. There is now an ongoing faculty training as virtual and remote education continue to increase. Um, we may not uh, definitely no, hindi magiging hindi normal yung ating uh, school year come 2020 uh, but most probably this will be a combination of uh, online and face to face no, or what we call the blended learning so because of this our faculty members have to be trained no, how to do virtual and remote education second uh, i'm sure there will be a revision in the curriculum and syllabi to intensify the development of soft skills of our students. No, it's not enough anymore that they know the technical side of their work, but it's more important on how they learn how to develop resiliency, problem solving, mindfulness, no, collaboration, and empathy. Now, these are very uh, important soft skills that are required of 21st century uh, employees or workers. And then, uh, similarly, ang business education now will need to give more space to teaching about societal impacts and humanistic concerns. No, hindi na lang tayo naka-focus on uh, the tasks that we're supposed to do, but more of how these affect uh, uh, the society in general. And it also involves educating our students to better be prepared for job changes due to technological and societal shifts. So ngayon, uh, it's not enough that we know how to do a certain task or a certain uh, assignment, but we need to, our students need to be multi-skilled. No? They have to be prepared for uh, different types of jobs so that they will be able to uh, adjust to the situation. And then, of course, uh, even if we are in business education, we still need to focus in on mental health initiatives uh, because this is what uh, people need. No? Uh, kailangan medyo conscious tayo on how uh, uh, the, the, the workers, no, uh, deal uh, with the mental issues nowadays all right so what do you what can you expect no uh, as uh, future students of MCL or if you are considering uh, a program here at uh, ETYCB in MCL now here these are the things on what you can expect from us not to deliver in response to the new normal okay number one our curricula and syllabi are currently being uh, overhauled, so to say, so to speak, no, so that they will be dedicated on the development of students' technical and soft skills 
required by post-COVID job markets. Okay, uh, you can also be assured that we will uh, we have qualified, competent, and dedicated faculty members. Na yun po hindi na lang importante na qualified at saka competent, pero kailangan may dedication yung mga faculty members because uh, we have a different uh, uh, our students now have a different characteristic, no? Kailangan talaga ng medyo tutukan sila uh, so that they will be able to uh, excel no? and uh, make the most out of their stay here at NCL. And then, of course, uh, we have been using Blackboard as a learning management tool uh, since 2016 and we will continue to do this. And we have been uh, incorporating other applications no, para mas ma-maximize yung use ng PBL. And then we are also partnering with other organizations that provide a wide variety of learning resources uh, such as Coursera, Wiley, Cengage, McGraw, and LinkedIn. So yung current students po namin are enjoying the benefits of these uh, organizations in terms of widening their skills and uh, taking courses, not only those that are related to their programs, but also in uh, developing their other interests. Okay? And then there's faculty training and retraining on online delivery of courses and so that uh, we can be assured of the active engagement you know, of our students. And then of course, uh, this is something that's uh, very important to us in student intervention. Uh, we do not only try to um, provide the instruction, but we also provide the support, particularly for students who may be uh, lagging in their academics. Yon. Now, aside from that, of course, uh, like what I mentioned earlier, the primary delivery uh, of ATYCB and the rest of MCL would be online and remote teaching. No? Our faculty members will use a variety of online teaching strategies to ensure the smooth and effective flow of the learning process. And we will also use relevant, creative, personalized, and cost-effective assessments no? to make sure that our students are properly evaluated no, kung ano ba yung natutunan nila in the classes even if it's just uh, delivered online. Now, for those courses with practicum or OJT, uh, we will be uh, uh, putting in alternative activities uh, in place in replacement of the face-to-face. -face. So, uh, we will have supplementary online courses, no, attendance to local and international webinars, uh, virtual apprenticeship no, that are provided by industry partners. Meron na rin po kami mga industry partners ngayon who provide the virtual internship or apprenticeship. And then case study of existing companies and then uh, live demonstrations no, to show their uh, to show their skills no, kung ano yung natutunan nila and uh, applied in their practical. Okay? So, um, we will now go through the different programs and uh, we will be starting with the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy and this will be uh, shared to us by the program chair, Ms. Rizalina Ong. Thank you very much, Dean Roda. Good morning to all of you. So, I'm here to discuss about BS Accountancy and how BS Accountancy address the new normal. Okay, um, to inform everyone, the BSA program started in 2007 and we're proud to say that we continue to produce CPAs after its first batch of graduates in 2012. Now, the BS, uh, BSA provides students with an industry-relevant curriculum and an educational experience that fosters excellence in technical competence soft skills, and ethical professional practice. Also, the curriculum addresses the requirements set out by the International Education Standards 
and the core competency framework for entry to the Philippine accountancy profession. Um, the MCL's average overall performance is 55.6 versus the national passing of 34.75 from school year 2012 to 2018. But when I say overall performance, that includes the first-time takers and um, the, the repeaters. We're also proud that we have won in regional and national accounting competitions over the years. So, uh, if you can see the graph here, so the blue is the for the first time takers, while the orange is the overall uh, MCL performance. So that includes the first time takers and the repeaters. But if you notice the bar, which is uh, represented by the, the color gray line, we are uh, definitely above the national passing percentage. Oh, I know that we still have a lot of room uh, to, to better the performance in the board exam, but considering that MCL uh, eight accountancy program just started in 2007, this is already an achievement. Also, would like uh, we ensure that our students is not just focused on their academics. We try to develop them to be um, well-rounded. So we require actually our students to be uh, engaged in outreach activities for them to be socially responsive. So the Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants, that's the student organization for the BSA program, they conduct two to three community outreach per year. Now, how do we address the new normal? Well, this is done, as Dean Rodev mentioned earlier, we have full online courses. And the strategies that we, we use for this is that we deploy in our um, institutionally supported learning management system, reading materials. We also provide PowerPoint, excuse me, PowerPoint presentation, and this is coupled with either live or pre-recorded session. Um, using any of the platforms, we have DBL Collaborate, but we also allow um, Zoom meeting. And then we provide practice drills and other learning tasks, which are actually given as a as formative assessments, but we also give major exams and quizzes as part of their summative assessments. Now, um, for the practice drills and other learning tasks, uh, the answers to this are discussed via BBL Collaborate using the shared applications via Excel so the students would really know how to arrive at the correct solution and what are the steps needed to arrive at the correct solution in answering the problems. Then we also provide consultation either, either as group or on one-on-one. -on -one. Now, let's have, let's try to view, uh, let's watch the videos that we, of our graduates on how the MCL education has helped them shape uh, to where they are now, how, how successful they have been uh, from the Chongsen program. Let's have it from Dali Rose Limusinero, now a CPA lawyer. Like everyone else, I started with a dream of becoming successful. And my journey began in choosing Malayan Colleges Laguna. Back in high school, I was clueless of what program to enroll in college but I was certain that I want to enroll in MCL. Actually, I was torn in choosing engineering and choosing accountancy. I chose accountancy. Well, accountancy is never easy, but with MCL's high standard of education, state-of-the-art facilities, and with the guidance of esteemed faculty, you know you have a promising career ahead. In 2012, I passed the CPA board exam on my first week. After passing the board exam, I joined the academe as a way of giving back to my alma mater. 
Then I briefly entered law school. In law school, some of the law subjects were not as difficult for me since business law subjects like sales, taxation, are also part of the accountancy's curriculum. That helped me maintain a position in the dean's list. I was a consistent dean's lister and belonged in the top tier of my class. After graduating from law school, I joined a Makati-based law firm as a tax assistant. In 2018, I passed the bar exam on my first day. And upon passing the bar, I was promoted from tax assistant to junior associate. Then after a year, I was again promoted to senior associate. And today, I am now a partner at my law firm the first female partner in 44 years. That I consider as a big achievement in my career. But with all this success, I am grateful to MCL for preparing me to be where I am now. In all my endeavors, I still practice our school's motto, excellence and virtue. Like Hello everyone, I'm Marco Angelo Antonio. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy from Charlie Batch. I passed the CPA licensure exam in October 2015, but I started working as early as 2014 at SUVN Company, which is one of the big four firms operating under EY or Ernst Young brand. A bulk of my success can be attributed to my journey in MCL. Studying in a trimestral setup is already difficult, but thanks to the uh, MCL facilities, it was made relatively easier and the journey to knowledge has been more fun and productive because of that. Yes, we have very strict deadlines, but the learning environment is supportive, and so is the competitive spirit surrounding the whole student tree of MCL. I even serve as the president of both the ATH Enco College of Business and the Supreme Student Council of Malayan Colleges Laguna, despite our workload being heavy enough as an accountancy student. I owe my development under the tutelage of my mentors, my professors, and all the people in MCL. It has been, what, six years since I graduated, but I've always been proud to carry with me the MCL brand. I still keep in touch with everyone in MCL. In fact, I celebrated with them when I got the opportunity to study abroad, uh, to study masters in Australia. To you who is planning to take up accountancy, go for it. I will not and I'll never tell you that the journey is easy because it's not. I have been academically confident all my life, but I have failed a lot of times, even in MCL, that had made me doubt myself. But when things become tough, that's when it becomes more work, worth it in the end. And make the most out of your experience by being friends and nurturing relationships with everyone in MCL. They are there to guide your journey and to push you to the limit. Uh, truly, you teach one another what excellence and virtue really means and how you bring that even when you leave the institution. So again, thank you and I wish everyone the best. Hello everyone, I'm All right, Ms. Ong, thank you very much for the presentation. Now let's go to the Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship. Now the BS Entry program prepares individuals to start and manage and eventually expand their own business to compete in the global market. It equips students with technical expertise in management, marketing, accounting, and business law, and develop business sense in terms of identifying opportunities and developing business plans and strategies to make their business grow. Students are also well guided on the different phases of putting up a business from ideation to business implementation. Now, several of its graduates have already established uh, their own successful business enterprises. Okay, now just to give you a clearer idea, now yung uh, entrepreneurship courses are in compliance, of course, with CMO 18 series of uh, 2017. Now, this is enhanced by practical application through actual business operations for two years or equivalent to six terms. 
Now, within these six terms, uh, the students are asked to conceptualize a business via a business proposal. And then afterwards, they create a business plan. No? Uh, this business plan is defended to a panel of industry uh, practitioners. And uh, after they have defended their business plan, uh, they go through the formal business launching. No? And this includes registering the business with DPI, with uh, the barangay. No? They get the business permit and the BIR permit also. Now, after the formal business launching, then they proceed with the actual business operation for two uh, terms. No? So, uh, when, they do, when they go through the business operation, uh, they are assessed through their sales quota, the marketing strategies that they use, no? And all of these uh, were supposed are supposed to be based on the approved uh, business plan, no? And then uh, after the end of uh, the business implementation, the students may decide whether to continue or cease the business. So in this case. Uh, yung, meron tayong mga estudyante uh, who have decided to continue with the business and that are still ongoing now. Now, for those who have decided to uh, stop operation, uh, they file a request with the BIR. No? And then after graduation, uh, these students would uh, go on, uh, would uh, work in the industry for a while. And then after some years, they uh, put up their own business again. So at least they already have an idea no, of uh, how it is no, to really run a business from the time it is conceptualized up to the time it is implemented. Now, just to share with you a success story. Now, we have one graduate. Um, uh, she is Hannah Hader. Uh, part of batch 2016 and she is now an entrepreneur. No? She sells um, bags um, and uh, yung mga ladies no, accessories and she joins uh, she, she joined she has established shops no, in uh, different malls. She said that um just an, uh, just an excerpt of what she, she said. Uh, Taking a business course does not give me a 100% chance of being a successful entrepreneur, but it surely shaped and motivated me to become one. No? MCL's curriculum stretched us by having an implementation class. This is where we turned our business plans we once defended in front of the panels into a reality. And so she said that um, MCL no, uh, was the right choice for her because it gave her a real-world experience and allowed her to hatch and mature into a successful entrepreneur. Okay, so let me now jump to the BS Hospitality Management Program. Okay. Now, the Business Hospitality Management Program. Hold on. Saglit lang. Alright. The BS Hospitality Management Program is a... Uh, it, it's previously known no, as the Hotel and Restaurant Management. But it was changed uh, as per the uh, CHED CMO that was uh, recently released. Now, the program duration is three years and one term. And it's designed to provide a well-balanced education that incorporates business, management, and life skills. Now, the curriculum emphasizes on technical proficiency, strong communication skills, management know-how, business capability, and of course, the, the development of soft skills. So, under the BS Hospitality Management, no, ang focus ng study are in the areas of culinary, food service, and hotel operations. Okay? Now, let me just share, no, particularly for this program, uh, I'm sure you have heard of the quote, 
uh, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Now, according to uh, Business Insider, 76% of Gen Z members, meaning those born after 2001, no? so those who are uh, entering college or now in college, no? they are aiming to create jobs out of their hobbies, things they are passionate about, things that they enjoy, and for which they will naturally, uh, they are naturally wired to excel. And we can see that many young people are finding joy in coming up with culinary creations or bartending or food service or doing work that involves engaging with other people. Now, to turn this passion into a career or profession, they have to become, a, they have to become qualified so proper training is necessary to become marketable. No, thus, ang hospitality management talaga is a program that is from passion to profession. Okay? So, for the program highlights, uh, like all programs in MCL, ang DSHM is program-based, no? teaching and learning. So, we develop the technical and the soft skills. Now, our classes are small in size which means that there is more uh, room no, for personalized instruction. And then online trainings are also made available by educational and industry partners to supplement instruction and skills application. Um, and then we make use of appropriate, creative, personalized, and cost-effective demonstration and return demonstration of skills to make sure that uh, our students really learn the skill and are able to practice it, even if it's done online. No? And then, uh, well, probably itong two, two points na to, no exposure to off-campus tours, workshops, expositions, and competitions, and international tours and OJT, no, they may not materialize as of now, no, but we are hoping that once uh, yung mga, those who will enter the BSHM program this year, now by the time that they get to their third year, second term, now the uh, the industry will already be open now for these uh, kinds of uh, events or exposures. Okay. Now. What will be the hospitality industry in the new normal? No? Of course, we are social creatures. And people will still want to socialize, eat out, travel and be entertained. No? Now, restaurants and hotels nowadays are actually doing their fair share in ensuring that safety protocols, quality dining experiences no, are in place to ensure guest safety, and security while providing the flexibility and warm hospitality to the customers. And uh, in the many webinars that I have attended, most experts, if not all, they actually say that uh, the industry will pick up again within one to three years. No, but their stress, they uh, they are now stressing that this is actually the time, the best time to be educated or to be trained to be reskilled and to be upskilled so that when that when the industry opens again we will be ready now for the new normal okay now let me just share with you some success stories from our graduates uh, we have here uh, eric jason gagni no uh, he is currently in uh, canada and he is working actually three jobs. He's working at the Marriott Grand Okanagan Resort, the Coast Hotels, and at the same time as when at Wendy's as an as a food and beverage service staff. No, and at the same time, uh, he studies culinary. So hindi po siya masyadong busy no sa Canada. But uh, this is what he said. Now, being where I am today manifests how MCL instilled in me the knowledge and skills that are crucial to the hospitality industry. I realized that it was understanding and imbibing the learners, keeping the passion alive, and honing soft skills on the side. No? Personal initiative, 
willingness to take risks, discipline, and commitment to striving for excellence that are important. Okay? Ang sabi rin naman po ni Jonathan Tolentino, Jonathan is a uh, front office supervisor at the B Hotel Alabang. He graduated in 2014. And he said that maybe the most important attitude I got from MCL is to quickly adapt to whatever situation you are in. MCL has given me the tools that I need and what to expect while I'm when I'm in the real world. Okay? James Omar Dominguez, who is a front office manager of Bay Hotel in Cebu City, no, said that this is when, uh, when, in, when he was in MCL, he realized that if you are not passionate with what you're doing, you will not succeed. You need to figure out where you're good at and from there you will excel. Uh, yun po yung mga sabi ng aming mga uh, dear graduates. Now, let me also share with you uh, two videos uh, still from our graduates no, on uh, their experiences and how MCL has helped them in their particular uh, careers or businesses. Hi, I'm Flo. And I'm Rob. We, we are, are the owners, owners of Intensity Blends. We started our business right after graduation. Our first branch is at South Point Square beside MCL, way back 2012. Then year 2018, we started franchising our business, so as of the moment, we have 25 branches nationwide, mostly in Laguna. MCL taught us the skills needed and right mindset on how to become successful in our chosen career. MCL has been our training ground that hone our abilities to provide excellent customer service that up until now, we are still applying on our business over the years. MCL is our right choice. Develop your talent and, and begin, begin your quest, quest for knowledge here at Malayan, Malayan Colleges, Colleges Laguna. Laguna. Hi everyone, my name is Nerisa El Gokpinar and I took Bachelor's of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management at Malayan Colleges Laguna. MCL have helped me in so many ways. And mind you, being a student at MCL is not that easy just because you really have to uphold that excellence and virtue. And looking back at it right now, it was all worth it. I am a hospitality and software project manager here in Canada. I am responsible for more than 200 hotels and restaurants around the world. I travel around the world um, to train uh, on service, technical, and even product development. Just to give you an example of who I work with, I work with Intercontinental Hotels, The Hamptons, J Parker Hotels, Hilton Hotels, LGO Restaurants, and many more. I directly train managers and even the CEOs and owners depending on my contracts. But my favorite trainings would be with the chefs. I have met a lot of celebrity chefs, but because of my NDA, I cannot share all of them with you. My favorite uh, chefs that I met and worked with would be uh, Jessica Coslow and Gabriela Camara. If you've watched A Tale of Two Kitchens on Netflix, they're uh, in that show. And it's really amazing just working with them. Uh, you know, in this journey, it's not all uh, on the upside. I have been reluctant, discouraged, and sometimes even giving up. However, MCL taught me that if I had the knowledge, the training, the experience and the courage to come back up, I can make it, I can do it. You know, I have been, um, I graduated eight years already and my professors and my classmates still got my back and that, and that is excellence and virtue right there. So hopefully you make the right decisions to go to, um, MCL like I did, and I am wishing all of you the best in life. Thank you. Hi, everyone.
Okay, now let me turn you over to Ms. Merle Ruiz, who will be discussing the uh, Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management program. Hi, good morning. Yes, despite of the situation, I might, I might say it's still fun in tourism management program. So let me present to you what is uh, BS Tourism Management program all about. So this uh, curriculum is designed for three years and one term. And the program is about to equip students with competencies needed to execute operational tasks and management functions in the field of tourism and hospitality industry. Other than that, uh, the curriculum focuses on student-centered activities uh, to provide the necessary competencies in tourism planning and product development through sustainable tourism practices, events planning, transportation services, and travel and tour operations. So despite of the situations again, uh, we ensure that online activities are supported by um, educational industry partners to hold to further uh, on their skills, all right? So other than this, what are some exciting about our program? So one is you're able to meet a lot of awesome or prominent people in the industry. They're able to enjoy some flexible scheduling. And most importantly, is so many perks. And one of these enables you to travel around the world for free. So just like uh, some of our graduates, so let me uh, share with you some, uh, some testimonies uh, given by our graduates on how MCL helped them to hone their respective uh, crops. So one, we have uh, Sedi Gordo. Sedi um, works now at Saudi Airlines as passenger service supervisor. In less than a year, he was promoted. And let me share with you uh, about his uh, testimonies given. He said that the beloved institution lives up to its mission in producing globally competitive individuals. I am honored to be one. Honed and equipped with the knowledge that I gained, I am happy that I found my place in the aviation industry as a passenger service supervisor in Oman Muscat. My endless gratitude to MCL and wishing the institution in providing more professionals as we take the next step in shaping up these new generations. Another student that we have, uh, see Miss AC Algabre uh, She's now a supervisor. Actually, according to her, uh, in less than six months, she was already promoted as supervisor and she shared to us uh, MCL prepared me to what it would be like in a, real, in a real world if not for the institution I wouldn't be where I am today MCL ensures to provide adequate knowledge to the students I can say that MCL is one of the best schools in the country with top-notch professors and delivery instructions that will hone you and would allow you to be a competitive in your chosen path and career. Uh, another one for si Ms. Uh, Maurice Briones. Uh, she shared with, uh, uh, with us that MCL has environment friendly, very welcoming atmosphere and offers state of the art facilities which made my studying enjoyable and balanced my spiritual and social activities. The training I gained and the motivations from approachable and considerate professors, staff, and it enables me to have the right level of confidence having a career in diplomacy in a government office. So, yes, despite of the situation, uh, we remain optimistic that the travel and tourism industry will fully re recover. In fact, uh, some of the business, business establishments now are starting to operate. So thank you. That's all for our TM program. Thank you, 
Thank you, Ms. Luis. All right. So now let's go to the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Uh, major in Marketing Management. Now, the BSBA, Major in Marketing, no, it's also a three-year and one-term program. No, and it's designed to prepare uh, students to get into a marketing career or even start their own entrepreneurial venture. Now, the curriculum focuses on outcomes-based learning with a, with a global outlook to provide the necessary competencies in marketing research and product development through advertising, e-commerce, and digital marketing. No? So, ang focus natin, focus on uh, the developing, focus on developing marketing competencies with the aid of digital technology. So, we are actually partnering with uh, the other programs here at MCL no, to be able to deliver this uh, program. Okay? So, hopefully, uh, well, that ends our presentation. No, hopefully we will uh, see you here at MCL, and you will consider taking a program under the uh, ETU Chenko College of Business. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, ladies, for uh, that presentation. And uh, actually, I'm very proud that we have a good number of alumni who are uh, doing well in their chosen field of endeavor. So I remember si, uh, Neris, or Neri, uh, Neris, the one in the United States, Sajantik and Economics. Actually, karamihan sa kanila, Sajantik, oh, si uh, Ralph. And uh, flow our my students in the social sciences. So na ko batch 2008 yung couple and uh, yung sa naman batch 2010. And uh, those are actually uh, good testimonies of quality and uh, basically how the ETU Chenko College of Business and MCL in general actually nurtured our students so that uh, we can actually build success stories for our uh, alumni. And uh, basically, the program chairs, Ma Merli and Ma uh, Rizalina, are actually saying that uh, this pandemic will definitely uh, pass and this is the right time for us to, uh, what, to sound off to the community the need to jumpstart their career in the field of business and hospitality management so that when the industries uh, make a rebound some three or four years after, yung mga graduates are ready to join and eventually become leaders in these uh, disciplines. So, uh, uh, emphasize ko lang po because uh, Ma'am Merle presented that uh, we have actually graduates from uh, the hospitality management and tourism management who are working with the DFA. So uh, does this mean that there are definitely a lot of career opportunities and career paths for our uh, graduates of hospitality management and tourism? Tama po ba? And uh, for our students and the uh, parents to be enlightened also, siguro dapat uh, pasadahan din natin yung mga career options na available for their uh, children if they will be choosing these uh, two hospitality programs. Sino po ang pwedeng sumagot? Sige. Siguro po I'll start with the no. I'll start with the hospitality yeah. management kasi yun okay. yung yun yung linya ko no uh, probably in terms of careers uh, they can go into hotel operations no uh, they can work in the front office no or rooms division food and beverage events no um, they can also do uh, they can be a part of the sales team no? Uh, in terms of venue management, events planning, 
uh, sales, no? uh, VIP services, okay? And then, uh, in terms of uh, luxury services naman, meron tayong mga lifestyle services, private charters, no? VIP events and services. Under food and beverage, uh, they can go into fine dining, catering, culinary arts, no? or they can go into, they can be actually ano, uh, a sommelier. A sommelier is a... Uh, wine steward. Ito yung mga very uh, well-versed in uh, serving and offering uh, wines no, to uh, to guests in fine dining uh, restaurants. Okay? There's also health and wellness. So, merong uh, spa, no? uh, fitness, uh, fitness uh, institutions, private clinics, no? retirement living. No, so, hospitality naman po, hindi lang puro gla glit uh, glitz and glamour. We actually have uh, institutional services also, like we can work in hospitals even, no, or in retirement homes. Okay? And then, there's also uh, other roles, no? particularly, like yung isa po namin graduate na pinature kanina, si Ayel, she's into hospitality, consultancy, and project management. No? We can go into uh, research and development also. Yeah, so that's very fantastic for our uh, new students and parents to be uh, enlightened about these opportunities. And tama ba ko, Dean, uh, as this pandemic rocks the global community, there are also uh, a lot of opportunities for hospitality uh, industry to adjust to the needs of the people during this pandemic setting. Okay, so my question po yung sa uh, accountancy and uh, yung business programs po natin, BA and uh, AIS as well. So, pa paano po na-shape nitong uh, pandemic uh, setting natin yung conduct of accounting uh, practices, procedures, and uh, actually I'm also the director of the Office for Strategic Partnerships and Global Engagement. And uh, as we are, uh, kinukumusta namin ang mga industry partners and we're asking them how they are doing amidst the pandemic. Uh, and we are surprised that a good number of IT companies and uh, business process outsourcing institutions are actually what? They are uh, very resilient to the pandemic and they are what? Booming pa daw sila and they are extending their presence in the country. And surprisingly, one of the areas that they are uh, servicing is actually the provision of accountancy services. So, uh, may I ask the ladies how uh, these uh, opportunities can actually be what? Uh, surprising and uh, uh, definitely challenging for our would-be accountancy students and uh, business uh, practitioners. Um, thank you, Sir James, for that information. Uh, kasi yung third term, we have in Goli sa uh, OJT. Unfortunately, at that time, uh, the host companies are not willing yet to uh, allow our students to, to have their internship with them kasi because of the yung IATF protocols. But what we did was to um, ask our students to enroll in Coursera uh, in lieu of the actual OJT hours. But this is a good development that there are uh, industries or firms that are willing to, to allow our students to have um, internship with them. So for, but for our incoming uh, first year, what we can offer really is, uh, aside from, of course, the full online course, we, uh, we, we are dedicated 
expected to have um, online consultation with students. In fact, uh, hindi na nga observe yung working hours, but uh, we try really to, to manage and be uh, present uh, sa concerns ng students nila. We, we, we answer their queries um, as fast as we could and to be really responsive to their concerns. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Ma'am Saleh, for that uh, comment and uh at least the parents and the new students are somewhat somehow assured that the career opportunities for the business programs are actually growing despite the pandemic that we are having right now. And I'm seeing a good number of uh, questions in our live event Q&A, so, uh, which our uh, resource uh, speakers are also answering. So for BS Accountancy, are there any books or reading material needed to buy to be bought for the course? So uh, it was answered already by Ma'am Sale. We have tied up with uh, Wiley, McGraw, and Sengage for the course materials and whatever book title we have chosen for a particular course. It is paired with the course so that the students can access to its students. And uh, to emphasize more on that uh, subscription to uh, these international book companies, actually, when you enroll at MCL and you are given the Blackboard Learn account as a student, you can actually gain access already to uh, more than 10,000 titles of these international book companies. And it looks like, uh, what, as if you have a mobile library in your mobile phone because when you access the Blackboard Learn through your mobile phone, definitely may app yung uh, Blackboard Learn, either iOS or Android. You can access Blackboard Learn with your account. And you can actually access also the 10,000 titles of Wiley and uh, the other book companies bundled with our subscription with uh, Blackboard Learn. That's how powerful and empowering the technologies that we are using here at MCL so that the learning experience will be supported by these subscriptions and uh, definitely this is part of learning in the new normal. So, uh, Ma'am Salim, a question dito about the qualifying exam for the BSA. Maybe we can uh, elaborate more yung uh, qualifying exam and uh, gano ba kahirap yung qualifying exam? Bakit ba may qualifying exam? And what preparations are our faculty members doing so that we can ensure that when we release the students, they are academically ready for the licensure examination? Uh, regarding the, the qualifying exam, it's part kasi of CHED memo that the BSA program should have a retention policy. So as part uh, of the retention policy, we conduct qualifying exam after the second year. So yung question, if mahirap, um, not, tapos na naman sila sa mga courses na take nila. Yeah. So what we actually do is, we, we instruct the JP uh, fourth year students or yung fifth year kung five years pa to conduct review to the lower years and then also we make sure naman that we we give the students the the answers to the previous exams and so that they can keep that plus the questions are actually taken from the books that they use for their for the particular courses yeah. So it's actually just a review, uh, just to measure uh, uh, their knowledge and preparedness. Yeah, so thank you very much. So uh, as what the program chair uh, mentioned, that is part of the retention policy. So if the next question will be, why is there a retention policy? It's actually to ensure the quality of accountancy professionals that each higher education institution is producing. So, uh, lahat po ng mga programs na may licensure examinations ay merong kanya-kanyang retention policy. 
But uh, Ma'am Sale is very quick in saying na mahirap pero wag po natin katakutan because there are a lot of support mechanisms that the ETU Chenko College of Business is uh, doing and are already in place for our uh, takers of the qualifying exam. So at the, at the level of the college, the faculty members are doing uh, uh, catch-up sessions and uh, they're also providing all the necessary materials for uh, the students to be uh, prepared for the qualifying exam. And also they tap the student organization, which is JPA. That's what, junior, what's JPA, ma'am? Junior Philippine, Philippine Institute of Accountants. Ayan. So it's a uh, student org that's an MCL chapter of uh, JPA that assists the new students of the accountancy program uh, to be prepared for the qualifying exam. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, narinig ko dun sa isang accountancy student na ako ang guardian. Meron yata silang qualifying exam this July, tama ba? Yes po. Ayan, so this July meron. So, kailan po ito nakaschedule ma'am normally? Anong year? Second year? Tama po ba? After po ng second year nila. Ayan, so it's after the second year. So that's fair enough to uh, say that at that uh, critical point, the students were done already with the basic courses that they need to uh, hurdle the examination, so the challenges of the examination. So for our uh, future accountancy students, that's something that uh, you will be excited about, the qualifying exam. But the difficulty is definitely something uh, that we may want to ask, but we are assuring the students that the academic preparation will be there and the college will be assist assisting the students before you take the qualifying exam. So kahit sa ibang colleges, ibang universities, meron silang kanya-kanyang retention policies and yung qualifying exam is not what unique to uh, Malayan colleges Laguna. Ayan. So incoming accountancy student, when is the start of the school? We will open the school for both senior high school and college this coming August 17. 2020. There's an interesting question here. What will happen if the student did not pass the qualifying exam for BSA? Sa akin nga, dapat positive eh. Diba? Positive, dapat papasa. Pero ang tanong po ay, paano daw po ma'am pag hindi pumasa sa qualifying exam? Uh, yeah advice for to shift program. Ayan. So, which is very essential. That's actually an intervention. So, uh, for the longest time, we have been having students who are taking the uh, courses, or rather the programs with licensure examinations because they were advised by the parent, sinabi ng tito, ng tita, and uh, definitely, doon po nagkaka-problema kasi hindi pala yun yung passion ng bata. So, pagdating ng qualifying exam, nagiging challenge kasi mahirap nga naman din pong ipilit kung hindi niya gusto yung kanyang kinukuwang program. And uh, later on, bumabagsak sa qualifying exam. So, that actually validates that the student may, I might be wrong, may actually not be for that program. So, the college naman po is advising to uh, have uh, considerations on uh, moving to another program para po magkaroon ng sariling success story yung bata. And don't get me wrong, since 2007, I have a lot of uh, former students who used to be accountancy majors but shifted to another program and they actually had what? Success stories and continuing uh, good stories to uh, share to the people about how they succeeded in life after accountancy. So definitely there's life after the qualifying exam. Yeah. So
Hello, I am an incoming hospitality management student. So welcome to ETYCB. What will be the software required for us to use? So maybe uh, Dean Roda can answer this. Uh, actually, well, there are courses that will make use of uh, some softwares. However, they are not, students are not required to uh, buy them on their own. It's actually part of the laboratory fees that will be uh, charged you know, when they enroll in the courses. Now, this would include yung mga uh, front office system, no, yung property management system that are used by hotels uh, in checking in guests, in uh, housekeeping, no, and uh, they then uh, there's also um, for uh, research, no, yung paggamit lang ng um, paggamit lang ng research tools. No? But uh, these softwares are already part and built in dun sa laboratory fees that they will be paying. Okay, so thank you very much for the clarification. There's another question here. What insights could you give on the alternative activities for practical lessons in the hospitality management courses? Sorry, Sir James, medyo... So, uh, uh, they are asking basically about the alternative activities. So, uh, ah, they, are yeah. worried, uh, they are worried actually about the conduct of laboratory courses. Okay. So, uh, maybe yeah. to frame the question more uh, properly, what are the preparations of the Etiuchenko College of Business uh, on the delivery of instruction considering that we are on MGCQ, residential classes are not allowed, how do we deal with the laboratory courses that basically, that are basically designed to uh, what? To uh, hone the skills of the HM uh, practitioners later. Now, for the alternative activities, uh, particularly for HM, no? Dinroda is in mute yata, right? Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. So, for culinary courses particularly, uh, we do a demo and return demo. So, the teacher will be the one to demonstrate how things are done. For example, how to make pandesal. No? So, she will demonstrate how to make pandesal and then she will re now require the students to do it from their end. Okay? And then after that, uh, when the student uh, is able to bake the pandesal, uh, it will go through a uh, sensory evaluation. No? So, in terms of taste, uh, the student will ask his family members to try it, no, and then uh, based on, uh, like, let's say, based on sight, no, how it looks, no, it's the teacher who will uh, evaluate, no. Pero actually, even if the teacher is not able to taste the pandesal, no, just by seeing how it is done during the return demo process, no. Uh, the teacher will be able to evaluate already if the student was indeed successful no, in doing the task that was asked of him. So, for laboratory, it's basically that, a demonstration and a return demonstration. No? Para nakikita ng faculty member how the uh, student is able to perform the task and uh, as uh, the student goes along, nagbibigay ng feedback yung faculty on the things that need to be improved on. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you very much po. So, yun, definitely may paraan po on the delivery of instruction and also the conduct of assessment for uh, uh, skill-based uh, training courses. So, naunawaan po namin yung worry ng parents na paano matututo yung anak ko for uh, kitchen activities, for example, if this will not be allowed because of the MGCQ. But they're always saying that we are 
a pioneer, a pioneer in doing blended learning since 2008. And that actually gives the assurance to our parents and new students that MCL has the great flexibility to move from one learning modality to another as needed and as allowed by the government. So uh, once we are allowed by the government to conduct residential classes, then we can easily call the students for them to attend the face-to-face -face or residential classes here at our food laboratory. And the same goes for tourism management also. So, kaya po natin both blended learning and online learning. And the experience of MCL sa online learning has started since 2008. And we have a lot of good stories to share. And uh, that would actually give an assurance to our parents that, that the school, the college is very capable to uh, deliver the uh, learning modalities allowed by the CHED. Siguro po, yun yung karamihan sa mga hinihingi ng mga parents ngayon. Anong assurance ang pwede nating ibigay, pwede nating makuha from the school that they can actually deliver the learning program that will be effective to our students. Okay? And uh, kanina, nabanggit din ni Dean that we have subscriptions to uh, Coursera wherein uh, our uh, students can actually have an opportunity to enroll in I believe institution and uh, earn an international certificate through the Coursera courses being offered. And uh, we tested it this third term of the current academic year and uh, a good number of my students in SS36 actually were able to finish Coursera courses in a week or two. And that's actually a, a good opportunity not only for our students but also for the parents to uh, get another assurance that learning will ne never be confined in the four walls of the food laboratory or inside the classroom because in a global environment and uh, in the new normal, definitely yung education will be borderless, will be limitless, will be convenient if only we are going to give it a chance and a try for us to maximize its benefits. Ayan. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies. We have Professor Risalina Ong, Professor Merle Ruiz, the Program Chairs of uh, Accountancy, AIS, and uh, Tourism Management, respectively. And we have the Dean of the ATU Chico College of Business, Professor Maria Rodora Austria, for joining us for Viewpoints this morning. And I think we're able to answer the concerns of most of our students and uh, attendees for today's session. And enrollment procedures for MCL senior high school students who would like to take the BS Business Administration. We have already posted the procedures for enrollment for our senior high school in our Facebook page. Please feel free to uh, check it out. But uh, sasabihin ko na rin, yung MCL Senior High School students, we are uh, giving you seamless transition to college. So you don't need to submit or resubmit all the documents. Just do an online admissions. We will be creating your new student number so that you can access the enrollment management system, which is a course in Blackboard Learn. And that's it. No need to resubmit the birth certificate, and uh, other documents except for the forms, yung uh, paternity waiver form, statement of compliance, group insurance application form. Yun lang yung ipapasa ng MCL senior high school students. Hopefully, your report cards will be released this coming July 10, 2020. That's uh, this coming Friday. And after the release of the report card, you may enroll na. But we are uh, opening a dedicated enrollment dates for senior high school graduates of MCL, which will start July 15. But since you are not new to us, kayo ay produkto ng MCL senior high school, you can actually enroll at your own convenient time basta meron na kayong report card. So yun ang number one requirement. Report card and uh, check out the Facebook page of MCL 
for the very easy limited uh, steps for enrolling and that's for MCL senior high school graduates. Okay, so may tanong po di dito for BSA. Di ba po, blended learning, pero for sure, sa first day will be online classes. How can we interact with our blackmates? So napaka-sociable nitong ating new student for BSA. And uh, he or she is really concerned about interacting, collaborating with the future blackmates. So, uh, Anyone from our ladies here can uh, answer the question of the student. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sure that's not only the concern of uh, BSA students, no? yes. but all students as well. Uh, medyo nakakalungkot isipin na uh, when you start school, you will not be able to meet with your friends, uh, old friends, or, or make new friends. no? But... Um, well, uh, if we will really not be able to, we will, if really we will not be allowed yet no, to go into the residential learning, uh, we will have to make do first with uh, uh, probably a Zoom meeting no, or a Teams, a Microsoft Teams meeting like what we're having now, uh, so that we will get to meet our uh, new classmates no, and uh, hopefully make new friends as we go along, even if uh, it's done online. No? But I'm sure, no, given the social animals that we are, we will still be able to figure out how to make friends no, despite the fact that it's going to be online. Yeah, so thank you very much. So that's the assurance. That's actually across all programs, not just for BSA, but also for engineering, IT, maritime, communications. Definitely, uh, concern is the total learning experience. So... We'll definitely have a lot of extracurricular activities other than the fully online learning, which are all academic activities. So that's the assurance and that's the commitment that MCL would like to give to the parents and the new students. Iko consider po ba ang grades for senior high school for the scholarship? Definitely po no, because we'll have the qualifying exam for scholarship this coming July 23. And thank you for raising that concern because the deadline for registering for the scholarship qualifying exam is uh, getting near. That's uh, July 17, 2020. That's the deadline for signing up for the qualifying exam. The qualifying exam will be this coming July 23. So... Kaya po tayo merong qualifying exam is because we want to have a level playing field for all aspirants to the scholarship program. So, hindi po natin gagamitin basis yung senior high school grades, but instead we'll have a common standard in evaluating the would-be scholars of Malayan Colleges Laguna. And that is through the July 23 qualifying exam for the scholarship. Okay, so mukhang maraming interesado maging scholars na pupunta sa ETU Chenko College of Business. And we are very excited to welcome you to this uh, college. Yan. So, taking up BSBA po means their pioneer batch is the college prepared enough in terms of competency and know-how of instructors. Definitely po, yes. We're uh, saying that we have good stories. Uh, yung licensure examination is one indicator. But more than that, let's talk about employability. And the college, or rather the graduates of the ATU Chenko College of Business, actually have a, a good employability rate. The same with other programs of Malayan Colleges Laguna. So, anong ibig sabihin po? That's part of our advocacy for outcomes-based education that even beyond graduation, we are tracking our graduates to find out if they got employment, if they got hired at least six months after graduation and we're taking note of the experience so that we can improve the delivery of uh, instruction 
And uh, we are very proud to say that for the first batch until 2014, during the first uh, tracer study, our graduates are highly uh, employed and uh, they land on good companies, good organizations, good institutions after graduation. And uh, that's needless to say that MCL was what? Part of the nurturing of these graduates so that they can have a good career and a professional uh, career path when they graduate. Ayan. So, online din po ba ang scholarship exam? No, we'll have it face-to-face. -face. So, uh, we're posting here the announcement for the academic scholarship. So, uh, all you have to do is to sign the online form to register and uh, show up in uh, July 23 here at Malayan Colleges, Laguna, so that you can take the qualifying exam. Again, June 17 to July 17 is the application period that's online, yung application. But the uh, scholarship exam will be this coming July 23, 2020. So, may mga questions pa po dito na may mga required books po ba ang ACT students? Definitely, yes. But as mentioned, you can get it from Blackboard Learn through Wiley. There are also some titles na Pilipiniana na hindi natin makukuha sa Wiley tsaka sa International Book Companies. Yun po yung mga binibili natin sa mga local book companies na magagamit naman ng mga students for their professional courses. And definitely yung Pilipiniana, mo, Pilipiniana po na mga books ay mas mura kesa dun sa mga international publications. Ka dagdag pa po dun yung mga uh, course materials that our uh, professional course instructors are developing for the students. So, pag minsan ko sir, yung mga textbook, even though uh, renowned na yon yung mga authors noon and experts in the field, may chance na po yun na hindi tailored fit para doon sa mga users, which is yung mga students natin. And doon pumapasok yung mga course instructors that we have trained since 2008 to be course developers. And through the use of Blackboard Learn, which is our learning management system, nakakapag-develop po sila ng mga content materials and assessments that they can use to uh, advance the delivery of instruction to our students to a higher level. There's a very difficult question here that I do not know how to answer for the first time. What is the content of the scholarship exam? So, uh, ang sagot siguro dyan ay, let's see this coming July 23 so that uh, we can be fully, we can be fully informed about the contents of the scholarship exam. Ayan. So, according to uh, Ma'am Ong, we have prescribed textbooks and this will come in handy uh, format wherein uh, you can use them for review for the courses and also for the qualifying exam. Okay? So, yan po ang mga questions that uh, we had for the live Q&A. Sir James, Kilala na nila ako. Sir James, kailangan pa ba ng printed report card ng senior high school graduates? Or okay na galing sa 1MCL? Definitely po kailangan ng printed report card. But take note, it will come from us. So ano pong ibig sabihin? We'll be releasing the high school report card this coming July 10. So if you will be enrolling for MCL, college programs, you may not want to get the card anymore so that that will be your official submission upon enrollment sa college. Anyway, you can view the grades at 1MCL or you can go to the register's office to secure a duplicate copy of the report card kung gusto mo yung itago, ipaprame, or souvenir. Pwede naman. Ayan. So, definitely, we need the printed card. But again, that's coming from us. So, no, no worries from our uh, senior high school graduates. Okay? Kailangan po bang mala kailan po malalaman ang results ng scholarship exam? Give us until August 3. That's the latest that we can release the rank 
uh, scholars for who qualified for the scholarship uh, program. Latest will be August 3. But if we were uh, able to process that earlier, hindi po namin yan is secret. Definitely, we will share the results and we will notify the successful uh, scholars for academic year 2020-2021. Okay, so thank you very much po sa ating lahat. This is Viewpoints, an online meeting for our uh, new students and their parents. And I would like to share my shirt, Curiosity. So uh, basically, thank you very much po na yung mga umaten po ng ating uh, Viewpoints ngayon ay curious about our business programs, curious about how learning will proceed under the new normal, curious about how the ETU Chenko College of Business at Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School will be delivering a uh, what world-class learning experience to our students. And we are very happy that that curiosity from your end was uh, actually paired with the willingness and dedication of our faculty members and our instructional leaders here, led by the Dean of the Etiochenko College of Business, Professor Maria Rodora Austria, the Program Chair of uh, Accountancy and AIS, we have Professor Risalina Ong, and the Program Chair of Tourism Management, we have Professor Merli Ruiz. Sana po ay nasagot namin yung inyong mga questions out of your curiosity about Malayan Colleges Laguna, about open admissions and enrollment, about the business programs, and about learning in the new normal. And uh, definitely po for us to uh, make things work and for us to have our own success stories about uh, our career directions and our career paths, there are a lot of adjustments that we need to make. That's why our team for this year is Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School surpassing the limits of the new normal right here. And as I said in the previous viewpoint sessions, that's what? That's, that's not in the past tense, surpassing the limits. So we are in transition, we are in the process, we're in, we are in a journey towards having our own success stories to share on how we surpass the limits of the new normal. And the good thing that we have a lot of parents who are sharing with our vision of a good uh, educational and academic preparation for your uh, children here at Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School. So thank you for joining us. On behalf of our President, our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Reynaldo B. Bea, who is also the President of Mapua University, and the Administrators of Malayan Colleges Laguna Amapua School, our faculty members, our students, uh, more than 6,000 students from both senior high school and college, the admissions team, and our enrollment advisors. Maraming salamat po for joining Viewpoints for today, July 8, 2020. Sana po, kung may mga tanong po kayo, our numbers are posted after this viewpoint session and uh, feel free to ask them and uh, contact our uh, enrollment and admissions helpline so that we can assist you with the online enrollment. And also, this coming July 17 and 18, we'll be having an on-site enrollment for new students. That's July 17 and 18 on-site enrollment for new students. So for those who are having difficulty in uh, doing their enrollment transactions online, you may come here, but definitely will be imposing, will be implementing strict uh, COVID-19 precautionary measures like the wearing of face masks, hand sanitation, and uh, social physical distancing sa mga guests po natin and limited number of guests for the every day of uh, visit here. We'll also have an online appointment and all these things are already posted in our Facebook page. You may want to check Malayan Colleges Laguna Facebook page and MCL Admissions Office. Thank you very much again. This is uh, James Ronald Messina of the Admissions Office and the Registrar's Office. And uh, this is Viewpoints 
an online meeting for new students and parents. Ingat po kayo and uh, good day po sa ating lahat.